everyone, welcome back. Uh, my name is Kinga and I work for Cadventure, the Lubri's Platinum Partner. I'm a business development executive, so today I'll be talking to you a little bit more about general space strip rule set. So in our previous video, we have discussed model checking as a whole. So I thought it would be a good idea to choose one rule set and go into a lot more depth to kind of explain it and show you how exactly it works. Before starting to record today, I have already configured Celebri to have the right rule sets in it, but there are of course others available. For the sake of today's presentation, I've only got the general space strip rule set configured. As you can see here is the main interface of Celebri Office. Here's just a list of some recent models that I've been working on, but today I'll be working on the Celebri building IFC file. As I have mentioned in my previous video on model checking, opening up an IFC file takes some time, but the time it takes depends on the size and complexity of the model. The larger it is, the longer it might take. There we go, ours is done. Um, as you can see, the first thing that we can see is an ensure model disciplines and categories window. What that is, is Celebri reads the IFC file that we have just uploaded and determines which discipline we are based on the authoring tool. So of course it's an architectural model, so as you can see Celebri has identified the discipline as an architectural. For that reason, I'll add a very short prefix of ARC as the short name. Let's press OK. First of all, we have to go into the checking layer. And as you can see, we have already pre-configured Celebri to have only the general space strip rule set and rules within that. So what we need to do now is just press check the model. One very good thing with Celebri is that as soon as one single issue has been identified, you can already start working through your issues one by one. So you don't have to wait for the entirety of your model checking to be finished. You can start straight away and you don't have to waste any time waiting. So that just makes you a lot more efficient. It's worth noting that the more complex and the larger and more detailed your model is, the more checks there are to run, so that might take slightly longer. As you can see, we've got here a mixture of red, orange and yellow triangles. Those stand for severity, red being the most severe and yellow being the least severe. You've also got a couple of green OKs, which means that the model has passed the rule. See, there are several rules within the general space check rule set. We've got the space properties and space location. I'll start off with space properties. So space properties have also got a couple of sub rules. For example, spaces must have name, spaces must have number, space dimensions but must be within sensible distance and all those three actually happen to have a green OK within them. So that means that the model has satisfied all of those three sub rules. However, Space's mass of doors has an orange triangle next to it, which means Celebri has identified an issue of moderate severity. So let's have a look at that. When you double click and expand on the issue, in the results summary view, you can see the issue count. So you can tell how many high, moderate and low severity issues there are. In the view just below, the results view, you can see that there's five occurrences of that issue. So Celebri is suggesting that there's five spaces in this model that do not have a door to it. If we double click and expand on that, you can see that there's five separate moderate severity issues identified. If you want to pinpoint each issue individually, you need to make sure to expand all the way until you see a warning triangle. That and click on it, it will take you to exact space in the model that the issue is being referred to. So those are the five spaces in the model that supposedly do not have a door to it. Here's our job to now go through all of those issues one by one and either accept them or reject them. This is something that I'll pick up on a future video as to how to communicate any issues by creating reports, presentations and using the BCF file format. So stay tuned for that. Another example I'd like to talk to you today about is the space location. See, space validation has a whole mixture of severity of issues, so let me expand on that a little bit. If we expand fully in the results summary view, you can see how many high, moderate and low severity issues we've got. And in the results view, you can see all the warning triangles. If you select and pinpoint an individual warning triangle, you can see loads more information about the issue in the information view right in the bottom left corner. Conclude very quickly the general space check rules that helps you check the integrity of spaces within your model. Celebri doesn't look at a model as a group of objects, it looks at it as a whole. Celebri is able to build and understand the relationships between various objects within the model. Thank you so much for joining today. If you've got any comments, suggestions, or questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments section below or give us a call on the number on your screen. 
stay tuned for many more videos on how to communicate the issues, how to do information takeoffs, and also how to revise different versions of the model. See you very shortly. Bye.